If you're watching this video, that must mean that you're looking for a way to make money on Pinterest. To be more specific, you're looking for a way to make money on Pinterest without creating a blog, which is kind of funny because when I first got started with my affiliate marketing business, and one of the first websites that I went to was the Pinterest platform because I had heard that a lot of people were making easy money with Pinterest. In fact, back then I was actually doing a lot of different things in order to make money. But one of the surefire methods that I was using to make money for my digital marketing business was using the Pinterest platform. Now, back then I wasn't taking Pinterest all that serious, but I was still making a cool $250 per month. In today's video, we're gonna look at one of the methods that I used back then in order to make money on the Pinterest platform. And we're gonna look at a few other methods that you can use in order to make money on the Pinterest platform as well. And we're gonna head over to my computer right now so I can show you step-by-step -step how to do this. So right now we're sitting in my Pinterest dashboard. This actually isn't the account that we're gonna use. Um, this is my current account. But method number one involves affiliate marketing and direct linking. If you don't know what affiliate marketing is, affiliate marketing is basically when you get paid in commission for promoting other people's products and services. So method number one involves direct linking. And um, this method best work in the clothing industry, the fashion industry. And so we're gonna come up to search. We're gonna um, search for fashion. So once you're here, you'll see that there's a lot of different um, pins that showcase different styles, different article of clothing. When you get further down, you'll see that some of these pins actually do lead to a blog. So this one will most likely lead to a blog um, fashion show. Yeah, this one will most likely lead to a blog. And this one definitely leads to a blog. 99 fashion style men, women. I'm not sure if this one will. Let's actually click on it and see. Okay, so that's that doesn't lead to anywhere. <laughs> um, but we're going to go back up. And we're going to click on this one. Wow, okay. So there's a lot of links that... So as you can see, it led straight to the website where you can go and buy this long sleeve shirt for $19.99. That means if you're an affiliate for something like Amazon or if you uh, are affiliate for Etsy, I believe, then you can grab your affiliate link for different articles of clothing, create a pin using Canva.com and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. And then come back to Pinterest um, we had this one and then create a pin for your article of clothing and then just kind of write like a good description because your description actually um, helps you with your SEO on the Pinterest platform. Pinterest is a SEO site. But as you can see up here, there is a small description that includes hashtags with affiliate, affiliate link, dress, fashion, women, fashion, accessory and fresh fashion so this means that this is an affiliate network that this person is linking to which means that you can actually come here um the affiliate pr uh, programs are usually at the bottom of the paper i mean at the bottom of the page but i don't see it anyway if you wanted to become an affiliate for this website and use the same method or Amazon, you can pretty much do the same thing. I don't know if this um, website asks for certain um, requirements be to become an affiliate. Some websites, some websites like this does, and I do. I actually do not see any way to become an affiliate for this website, so I don't know how to. Um, sign in for this web to become an affiliate for this website so you can stick this stuff like amazon.com be an affiliate for Amazon and use this very same um, tactic in order to create a pin let me show you how to do that and then link your pin to your board and then just use your Amazon affiliate link as the website so we're gonna go to Canva 
And from Canva, you're going to come up here to the search or you can actually go through temp um, templates. I'm going to go through search because it's easier and you're just going to type in P-I-N and Pinterest templates should come up. So yeah, here we go. Pinterest pins. You'll just click on this and then use this to create a Pinterest pin um, using whatever image that you want. You can use the image directly from the website or you can go to a different website called pixelbay.com and get an image from there. I, I would just say use an image directly from a web, the website and then create a pin, post a pin to one of your boards and then use your affiliate link as the website link for your pin. And you're going to want to do this like three to four times per day. You, you can post different images from the same article of clothing or promoting the same article of clothing several times per day. For instance, you, as you can see, this shirt that we just clicked on, it has the uh, white version of the shirt. If this shirt comes in any other color than white, then you can also post pictures of that other of the different colors of the same shirt um, throughout the day. Don't post them all at once. Post one in the morning, one in the evening, one at, in the afternoon. And that's going to start getting a lot of people to your Pinterest account really fast. Because if you just post once per day, it's going to take you a, a really long time to start seeing traffic to your Pinterest account. The second method requires you to use a single page website so that you can start collecting people's name and email to retarget them later on down the road using email marketing. This method actually helps you make even more money than the first method that we talked about does. The first method was actually a method that I used to use in my old days. However, if you use some of the things that we talked about in the first method and combine it with some of the stuff that we're going to talk about in this second method, then you can scale your business to be much, much bigger, far faster if you just were to use one of these methods alone. So this profile actually showcased what method number two is really, really well. It's involving kind of direct linking without going to a blog post, but it doesn't go directly to an affiliate link. And you can find it at Reunited Relationships. If you want to come and check this profile out for yourself, it's at Get X Back um, on Pinterest and it'll take you to this profile. But if you scroll down, what you'll find is that there's a lot of pins that are like quotes. Most of them are just a black background with um, quotes on it. And then there are some photos on here too. And quote posts actually like on Instagram do really, really well on um, Pinterest. Now the thing is, if you click on any one of these posts to get a closer look at them, you'll see that they actually do not have um, any description. All it is is just this quote and then it leads you directly to the website which is reunitedrelationships.com and if you go there, it'll take you to a little short quiz that you can do that'll lead to a place where you have to put your name and email. So let's do um, a man click here to get your girlfriend back or wife back. Now here it says you're about to receive a four part course that'll show you um, the simple steps to getting your girlfriend or wife back even if you think it's hopeless. And then it goes down. This is basically a sales page in order to get you to opt in to um, for a course that, like I like it says, it's a few days course that'll show you how to get your ex back. So if you click here, it's going to ask you for your name and email. This is they're most likely collecting people's name and email in order to get this free piece of content. Um, wait, is it free? This stuff really works. Um. I actually do not see a price on it. So I don't see a price on it. So it's most likely a free piece of content. You leave, um, they'll leave their name and email address, which will give this person the opportunity to retarget people later on down the road. And basically just like in the first, just like in the first method, you're going to create a pin, post it to 
your um your board on Pinterest and instead of going directly to the affiliate product you're giving away yep it says free course up here I overlooked it so you're giving away a free course in order to collect people's name and email and then you can retarget um, them through email marketing and in order to build your landing page, you can use a website like Biddleall, which you will find a link to Biddleall in the description down below. And you can just use one of these simple landing pages that Biddleall has already um, have done for you. So it doesn't really matter what niche that you go into, Biddleall has a landing page that you can just uh, download to your your um your dashboard change up a little bit and then use it as your own now honestly this next method is a method that i have not seen too many other people talk about and i honestly don't know why there's a lot of people who talk about making money on pinterest but for some reason they completely gloss over the method that we're going to talk about as the third way of making money on the pinterest platform without a blog now to fully utilize this method, you do have to have at least 200 people following your Pinterest account. And that's mainly because we're going to take advantage of using Pinterest collaboration boards. And in order to get on a lot of Pinterest collaboration boards, you have to have a minimum of at least 200 followers. Don't worry, I'm going to show you one of the ways that you can do this. And I'm going to show you what to look for when you are looking for Pinterest collaboration boards. Now, to be honest, the first two methods requires you to focus on creating the traffic by yourself. The first two methods is you creating the traffic through your Pinterest um, homepage. This method is you collaborating with other creators on the platform in order to create more traffic for all of you. That's how I'm basically getting 8,000 monthly views and I honestly haven't been posting much at all lately. Um, I haven't posted anything to my, my profile in years. So this method really does work. So what you wanna do is you wanna come up here to the search bar and you wanna type in your niche keyword or a keyword for your niche. So for me, it's affiliate marketing. Then you want to come back up to the search tab, tab and change it from all pins to boards. Then you're going to start scrolling down and you're going to look for boards with this kind of icon on it that has like a split picture. Um, these are collaboration boards. Uh, there's another one right here. Here's one right here. Um, and this is one right here. If you want to do with fashion, let's try fashion next. So we're going to scroll down. Here's a collaboration board for fashion. You see the icon that's split with three photos on it down in, in the left hand corner of the um, board. Here go another one. And, um, I'm trying to find one more. And this one right here, this one is also a collaboration board. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for these collaboration boards. You're going to click on them. And basically, you're going to try to um, find out who's in charge of them. As you can see, these collaboration boards have a lot of people following them. And so it's a really good way of getting in front of a real diverse group of people without you having to do all the work yourself. The first thing that you want to do is figure out who is the leader of the board. The platform has changed since I've been away, it used to be real easy to figure out who the leader of the board was because if you came up here and you clicked on this, it would have like leader of the or um, administrator of the board, but it doesn't have that anymore. If I had to guess, the leader of the board is the person whose name is first and then, um, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. It is the person whose name up first. So. Um, yeah, you would contact them and you would ask them if you can join their board. You'll actually send them a DM asking them if you can join their board and you'll give them the board address. 
And um, it's usually all you have to do in order to get accepted as a board member is just have around 200 to 500 followers. And then they usually let people, um, then you can usually get on different collaboration boards. The thing is some collaboration board have rules that you have to stick to like posting one time per day, or you have to post once a day or you'll be kicked out of the board. So I know there's a few boards that I've been kicked out of because I've been inactive. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Steven, how am I going to get 200 to 500 followers in order to join these boards? It's actually quite easy. I don't really like using this method, but it's really an effective method. We're going to go back to my niche. And from here, we're going to hit um, all pins. And then we're going to come down to people. And what you're going to do is you're going to start following people um, within your niche. And then you're going to do that for a few days. And then you're going to start unfollowing people um, after you follow everyone for a few days. And that will start building your following list. And then you can start applying for boards once you hit the 200 mark, the 500 mark. And when you first get started just apply to as many boards as you can make it a habit so i'm going to go back to boards when you do join one of these boards a very good way to get other people to share your content on their profile is to share their content on your profile so for instance if i was um still doing this i would take maybe this board right here and i hit save and then save it onto my social media tips and tricks. And I would do that with a few of these pins and that'll encourage more and more people to do the same with my um, pins, would it get, which would get more eyeballs on my pins organically without me having to pay traffic, um, having to pay for traffic or without having to actually write a blog post. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, then go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.